So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we're going to jump straight into this and talk about how much we made on this herd. This may have been my best herd. Well, actually, I think it was. It was my best herd I've ever put together uh, so far. I don't know if it was my highest profit per head group. I think the second one I did was a little bit better. But this group was probably... The, the expenses were a little higher on this because this was one I took through winter. I bought these calves in September of 2020 and sold them in March of 21. So I had to feed them hay and whatnot. So I think had it not been winter, I probably would have had the highest profit on this group because this was definitely my best, best herd ever. Now, I haven't had many yet, so I'll try and top that in the future. But anyways, we bought these calves for $5,770.75. Uh, obviously, we had to pay some fees and whatnot with hauling and to the livestock market and all that, but $5,770.75. Then we had to process them, give them vaccinations, and uh, give them medicine, wormer, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you'd like to see more processing and like us giving them medicine, 
uh, check this video out here. I'm not going to show much processing in this video on either herd, but if you want to see that, check out this video. We'll be doing more processing in the future. We've done several videos on that so far, so go check those out. Anyways, uh, we've got feed, which was $2,352.80. Mineral was like, I'm not entirely sure how much mineral was, but I think it was like a little over $100. So I call it $125. So I gotta find how much that actually was. I've got it somewhere. Then hay. So we baled hay for these guys from my own place. Uh, I do a little bit of hay on the side and just kind of mess around with it. I don't don't do much, but we small square baled some hay for them, and that cost me like $275 to put up with a lot of help and whatnot. Or let's say it cost us $275 to put up. And then I bought some hay for them as well. I'm calling it $525. Um, so $525 for hay. These calves actually never got revaccinated. We probably should have done it, but we didn't. But normally we'd have revac. I'm not entirely sure how much that is per head. It kind of varies uh, depending on what we're giving them at the time. That varies a lot too, depending on what time of year it is and just what Ben and them have in stock. No revac. And I just put down like $125 misc. Uh, misc expenses. So anyways, total expenses including the purchase price were $9,405.08. So this is our net profit, $2,056.70, which comes out to $171 profit per head. So like I said, I think I got $190 on the last group. You can go check that video out. Like I said, um, I've only done a few herds before this one, and I think they were like $190.00. But then again, I had less expenses on them. I had $525 less in hay alone, so that helped a little bit. I think this was definitely my best herd so far, but time will tell. Maybe we can top that. But not in this video, because <laughs> you've seen the title. Uh, so let's show you the footage I got of the other herd. I didn't get as much footage as I should have on that herd. I thought I got more. I think I might have lost some somewhere. I don't know. It's, it's weird. I thought I had more than I did. But I, I, uh, I'm going to show you guys the footage I did get of them, and it's going to show us getting them in, castrating one of them. And if you're squeamish about that, I'll put the timestamps on the video. We castrated them, and then we took them to the sale barn. Now, Ben actually couldn't go with me on this herd, so I drove them up there myself. It's like an hour and a half away, but it's worth it. They market the calves well up there, so we took them to the sale barn and uh, sold them there. So anyways, that's why Ben isn't with me. He couldn't, couldn't make it that day. I, I do want to mention this. When we sold those calves, we got some new panels recently. So if you see those, those are uh, brand new. And I'll be talking a little bit about that. We're trying to get a lot built right now and a chute and some stuff like that. Yeah, we got some, some new panels in, so that made loading them a lot easier this time. Enjoy this footage, and I will talk to you guys more about finances on that herd in a bit. one. One we've been looking for all day. So ever cutting off the bottom of the sack. That's going to allow it to drain. On these small calves, he's just going to pull them. Pull the testicles out. So he exposes the testicles, uses the push-pull method for it, should snap back and cut off the bleeding. There's one. Some of these smaller calves are difficult. There's number two. I'm just going to clean up the vast deferens a little bit, the cord that's hanging down. And that's it. Making those bull calves steers is uh, a very common and important management practice, so that's why we do it. If you're not doing it on your operation, then somebody else is down the road, I can guarantee you that. And it's a good way of adding value to your animal. And what is the difference in like risk of infection banding versus cutting? Um, so the biggest infection risk with banding is tetanus. And you can give uh, a vaccine to uh, 
mitigate that risk. But uh, tetanus is a, an anaerobic infection, so the banding does, doesn't allow, isn't exposed to air, right? So they can, they can get a tetanus infection. $5,582.72. That was the initial purchase price. Average weight of 335 pounds. The 12 should have been something pretty similar to that. I normally get like low low threes, like 300 and 350, something like that. So average of 335 pounds, we paid $5,582 for them. Processing costs. So once again, as soon as we got them in, we gave them vaccines. I've talked a little bit about what we gave them in previous videos, so once again, you can go check some of that out. Anyways, $408.96. 
to give them their initial processing. We did revac this herd, and that was $167.47. We also had to treat every single calf when we revac to them, and I'll talk about that in a second. Feed costs were roughly $1,500. Hey, uh, I gave them just a few bales when they first got here before they were fully on feed. Like when they were in the pen and stuff, I let them kind of settle in in this one pen I had for them. So we just have like $20 hay cost, not much. Mineral was probably like $50. We'll call it $50 mineral cost. Expenses, I called it $150. We had some fuel in there and whatnot. So total expenses were $2,296.43. Plus the initial purchase price, $7,000. $879.15. So that's how much money we spent on this herd was $7,879. Sold price, $6,352.06. You didn't notice that's that's lower than, than what I wanted. Um, so we lost money on this herd. And this is the first herd I ever lost money on. $1,527.09. And then, of course, I got time in there, you know what I mean? I try to shoot for, like, around $100 profit a head minimum. That kind of makes it, you know, there's a lot of time invested in this. I could just be working my normal job, making money that way. So you want to make sure it's worth your time. If you're curious, we lost $152 per head. So you want to average 100 for the year. So that wasn't good, but we only do two a year. Now, anyways, let's get into why I lost money on this herd. My expenses weren't really that high. Like I said, that's one of the advantages this time of year. You've got grass, you can use that. You don't have to spend as much in hay and feed and whatnot. You know, why did we lose money on this group? Barely got gross profit, let alone net profit. So why was that so low? Well, there are a few reasons. They weren't near as uniform. I had five weights, I had some four weights in there. Back in like June, we had this real rainy week and I had this one calf get sick on me. I wasn't watching them like I should have been. And I've learned a lot since then as well. I started working at Ben's Ranch back in the start of 2021. And I've learned a lot more about this kind of stuff since then. But I, there were a few things I was missing with this calf I didn't notice. And that would have been a key, you know, that, that would have helped me realize he was sick. So I caught him a little too late. And he was not doing well. Anyways, me and Ben got him treated. We tempted all the other ones. And this was right around the time they needed revac. We were a little late on revac, I think, but every single calf had at least a low fever. So we treated all of them with Exceed, and uh, this one little calf was not looking good. He had lung damage. That really did not allow him to grow. That was big. That was a really big deal. That should not have happened in the first place. I wouldn't let something like that slide now because... Um, I've just gotten better at identifying sickness. I didn't catch this calf and I didn't realize he was sick. Um, and then I had a few others that I guess just didn't, they didn't recover as well from uh, being sick or something. They just, they did not grow well. And I had some five weights in there, I had some four weights. The average weight was 485 pounds, but like I said, it's just ranging all up and down the, all up and down the place. That was the main thing. I took a worse herd to market. Now the other group was 577 pound average when I took them to market. And that was the perfect weight. They want them right around 600 pounds. Uh, that's when they want to start grazing them. They don't want anything too like fatty. They want something they can put weight on and they can add value to. So if you bring them a real fatty calf, they're not going to be as interested in it. You know what I mean? They want a thinner frame calf that they can put some weight on. And these other calves, you could tell they hadn't been backgrounded as well. They all got separated off. That was the big thing. They got separated off because they weren't uniform and they didn't look very good. Whereas the other herd was a whole herd. They all went together. So that added a lot of value there too. They were all one herd. So that helped that helped me a lot. So if we hadn't had those chronics in there, they probably would have sold for a much higher price. And if they'd all been a similar weight and they'd gone on the same group, that would have helped a lot. And I made some mistakes for sure, but we're also going to be making some changes um, on my next herd to hopefully not run into this problem again. But I did buy another herd in October of 2021, so we'll have more videos out on that for you guys in the future. And uh, we'll, we'll try and not lose money again, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, though, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like down below or subscribe or leave a nice constructive comment. I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas as well. This will probably be my last video before Christmas, so... Hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and hope it's good. But anyways, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.